Welcome to the world of software development. If you are interested to become a front-end developer, then probably some questions comes in your mind, like how to become a front-end developer, I want to become a full-time front-end developer, how long does it take to become a front-end developer, and what I need to be a front-end developer. Can I become a front-end developer in three months? This type of question. If these questions resonate with you, you have come to the right place. I am Sidra, a seasoned software developer. And in this video, I will be your guide to everything you need to know to kickstart your journey as a front-end developer. So let's dive in and embark on this exciting adventure together. The first thing which you should know uh, to become a front-end developer, that is internet. You should know how internet works, what is HTTP, what is domain name, what is posting, and how DNS uh, is work, and what is browser, and how they work. And the second and most important thing, this is HTML. You should learn the basics of HTML. You should know semantics of HTML and then learn about forms and validation. And uh, then you should know about the accessibility and you should know about the SEO, SEO basics. And the third thing is CSS. After learning HTML, the CSS is uh, makes layout goods this is basically called a uh, style of the HTML web page. So you should learn about the CSS basic and how uh, layouts define like flags and grids. And then you should know about the responsive designs as well. After that, uh, the third thing, third and most important thing, you should know about the JavaScript. JavaScript is basically used to make web pages dynamic so uh, you need to learn basics and then uh, dom manipulation and then you uh, need to know about the api uh, how you fetch api and after that uh, you should know about the git git is basically version control system so you will know about the git gitlab and bitbucket github as well after that, uh, after Git, uh, you will know about the VCS hosting. VCS hosting is uh, basically a package manager and package managers include NPM, PNPM, PR, you should know about all of them. And then uh, after learning HTML, CSS, JavaScript and version control system, uh, then it's time to pick up a some framework. Like you can pick React, you can pick Vue.js, you can pick Angular. A choice is yours. So this is all JavaScript framework. So you can pick one of them, or either you can pick uh, several Solid.js and Quick. And after pick up framework, then it's time to write some CSS by using some CSS free processors are using CSS architectures. You can use any of them like Quella and Redex and uh, then source post CSS, any of them you should need to learn. Uh, after CSS full process, then uh, it's time to build tools because when you deploy, when you design any website or any web app by using all these languages, then it's time to build. Uh, so you need to know how module bundlers uh, uh, works, how uh, module bundlers works as task runners, how works. And then you should know all of these white ESP webpack. These are all called uh, actually module bundlers. And then uh, you need to know how NPM scripts works and Prettier and ESLint is basically uh, for, used for formatting your code in VS Code. 
and uh, correct your code if there is any error. So it's highlight your code actually. And the next thing, after build uh, your website or web app, then it's time to test your app. To test your app, you should know one of them, like Vitas, Yes, Playwright, Cypress, any of them you can choose to test your app and you can use in your app. And then uh, it's time to add some authentication in your app, like login, sign in. So you can use uh, JWT, OOT, SSO, basic or session or uh, choices yours uh, based on your requirements, based on your needs. So you can use and you can consider web security basics as well. And you should know, of course, how is GTP works with web security, how content security policy works. And then after that, it's time to customized web components. Web components is basically you can uh, create your HTML templates, you can create your custom elements, and you can uh, work with Shadow DOM as well. So in after that, uh, this one web component, uh, because your skill level is a little bit more up and you should know type checkers. Type checkers in basically uh, is a type script, the more defined of JavaScript. So you can do anything with type checkers which you can which you cannot do uh, with JavaScript. So type script you can use when you are web apps and then it's time to see server side branding so server side branding with uh, react basically use next.js or remax and angular is used universal and Vue.js is next.js and server server kit is used for server side branding and then after that uh, it's time to learn graphql graphql is basically uh, you can learn about Apollo, really modern, and then some static site generators, which is basically uh, all of them like Next.js, Remix, Pogo, Jackly, Astro, Viewpress, and this kind of stuff. This is more advanced how progressive web apps work. You should learn all types of patterns, model, metrics, lighthouse, and then uh, you should know idea about how storage work, how web sockets work, and what is location means, how notification works, payments and credentials, and service works works, this kind of stuff. And then um, comes to mobile application. For mobile application, there is normally used React Native, Flutter, Iconic, and uh, Native Circuit is used. And uh, then you can uh, you can use to the uh, um, come to the desktop applications where you can use Electron, Flutter, and this kind of uh, thing. 